Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you some of the tips and tricks for Redmi 2. So let's get started guys. So guys, this is the Redmi 2 and let me just lock this device for once. And as with the older devices, to turn on the flash, you can simply press the lock screen button. And when it is in the lock screen, you can press the home button to turn on the flash. So there you have it. If you do that, the flashlight will be turned on for like 2 seconds or so and if you want the flashlight to be turned on for a longer amount of time, you need to press the power button to keep it turned on. So moving on, so this is the lock screen that comes out of the box and you can simply swipe up to unlock the device. And additionally, when the device is locked, you can simply swipe left to open the camera. So this is the camera. So now that we are in the camera section, let me just show you what it has. So the rear camera is an 8 megapixel camera, whereas the front camera is a 2 megapixel camera. And if you swipe to the left, you will see the filters. And if you swipe to the right, you will see the additional settings. And if you swipe down, it will reverse the camera, that is it will enable the front facing camera. You can either do swipe up or down and it does the same thing. And when you open the app by default it will be in the capture mode and to so you need to press this button to take a picture and you can see a small preview over here. And to record a video you need to press this button. So as of now the video recording is not started and once you press it again the video recording will start. So let's go back. So guys, this is the home screen of the Redmi 2, which is running on MIUI version 6.3.3. So once you are here, you have some tweaks. You can pinch with two fingers to get this preview. And over here, you can move the apps, add widgets, change the wallpaper and change the transitions. And let me show you different ways in which you can move the apps. First, let's select some of the apps. And once you have it, you can if you want to move these apps to a different home screen, you can simply swipe and select the apps to put the apps in that home screen. And when you select them again, they'll come back to this list. And you can simply swipe to wherever you want and click on the icons to put them there. And let's assume you want to put all these icons or apps in a folder. At the right side of the screen, you have the folder option. Simply click on it and the folder will be put on the home screen and you can simply swipe on these icons and then select all of them and drop them in the folder so it is that simple guys to add a widget you can simply press this plus button and select the widget that you want and drop it on the home screen and changing the wallpaper is very simple you can simply select the wallpaper to change it or else you can go to the browser and change it manually. So additionally, if you swipe, additionally if you pinch with three fingers, you get this view where you can select the default home screen. So let's go back. Once again pinch the screen with two fingers and now you will see a small icon over here. When you press that icon, you will go directly to the theme section where you can download any theme and apply that theme. So now let's go back. As with MIUI version 6, you have one hand operation and to start using that, you need to simply swipe on the capacitor buttons over here, starting with the home screen to the left or the right. Let me do it with the right and if I do it once again, it will enlarge. So basically with one hand operation, your screen size becomes around 3.5 inches and you can do almost everything but with a smaller screen and if you swipe left from the home screen it will simply go left and if you do it once again it will become larger again so that is one hand operation on redmi 2 so going on we have the recent apps menu for that you need to press this button and we are in the recent app section we need over here we can pinch in or pinch out to change the effect or to change the view Again, if we pinch in, the icon will become smaller and if we pinch out, we'll get a small preview of what's going on in the app. And if you press this button, it will simply close the, all the apps that are currently running. 
Let me just open up few apps and now press the recent apps button. So over here I can simply swipe it down to lock it so that whenever I press this cross button it won't clear that particular app and if I swipe it down again it will unlock it and optionally if I swipe it up it will be removed and if I press and hold this cross button I will directly go to the app manager into the running section so that's pretty much it about the recent app section next let's go into the security section so this is the security section and starting off we can clear off some unwanted files and second is the data usage we can set a limit or we can just check how much data we are using and third is the block list where in which we can either block sms or calls and the fourth is the battery here we can check out the battery status we can define battery profiles and we can schedule change of battery profiles that is let's assume that in daytime you want high performance mode whereas in nighttime you want to change the CPU performance to balanced and turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth automatically then you can do all of that over here in the schedule profile switch then we have virus scan which I don't use a lot but it is really good to have it inside the box next we have permissions which is very interesting and which is found usually on all the MIUI devices so let's check it out so in this section we have both auto start and permissions if we go to auto start it will simply list the list of apps that will start when your device is turned on so by default as you can see there are no apps that are installed or that are running out of the box so to enable any app to run it start simply select the app or simply select this toggle and it will be allowed to run when your device turns on and next we have permissions over here we can see which app is asking for which permission or else we can simply go to the permission and see what are the apps that are using that permission let's go to calls and contacts and see what are the apps that are reading our contacts so these are all the list of apps that are reading our contacts as of now they are not allowed it and when you open one of these apps you will be asked if you should allow the app to read your contacts or not so it is very similar to the privacy guard in cyanogen mod but you can assume that it is the MIUI version of that so let's go back so guys that's pretty much about the security now let's go to the notification bar when you swipe down you have two panels over here so the left one and the right one so the left one is where you will get all your notifications and the right one is where you have all your toggles so let's start from the top you have the silent or the profile mode and next you have the rotation lock and third you have the lock screen fourth is bluetooth fifth is data all these things you know already but let's start with dnd which is the do not disturb service and whenever you enable it it will block all the calls that you are receiving so let me just show you some of the settings over here you can enable do not disturb mode and you can set timing for that or else you can choose to block all the calls or you can add exceptions for that so let's go back and let's see some other settings so over here you have the auto brightness and next we have the torch airplane and over here we have the screenshot option when you press on it it will take a screenshot of the screen and if you go to the notification you will see a small screenshot notification over here and if we swipe with the two fingers you have an additional option to share the screenshot and additionally if you don't want to go to all the way to the notification bar to take the screenshot you can simply press volume down and power button both at the same time to take the screenshot so if we go to the notification bar we can again see the screenshot so anyway let's go on ahead so the next important thing is access so if you simply turn it on it will ask you to draw a pattern let me confirm that so now you have access enabled so with access what you can do is you can block others from accessing any apps so you can consider this as an app locker which comes inbuilt so one advantage of it being inbuilt is that it won't really take away much of your ram and it will be robust so that's pretty much it the next thing that we have over here is guest mode so this is the guest mode whenever you turn it on 
the person who is using the phone won't have access to your personal files so that is one advantage with that next is disabling the capacitive touch buttons if you enable this option the capacitive touch buttons will not work from now apart from the one hand operation so to enable them you need to press the home button and the power button both at the same time and now you can use the capacitive buttons normally so let's move on so going on we have the performance toggle over here by default it is set to balanced but when you click on it it will be enabled and your phone will be set to high performance mode usually you don't need to set it in high performance mode because it will eat away your battery very quickly but just in case if you are doing some intensive work like playing game or browsing and if you feel that your phone is slower you can enable this one and whenever you do that you can you will get this notification over here and it won't go unless you disable the high performance mode so that's pretty much it regarding the notification bar tweaks so let's go on so going on to the phone application to see the call logs of a particular contact you have the small icon over here simply click on it and you will be able to see the call logs of that contact and to scan the QR codes you have two applications one is the scanner application which is this one and you need to put the QR code in between this box and it will scan the QR code or else you can simply use the default camera app to scan a QR code so now let's go into settings and over here you have the notification panel or notification settings over here we can manage different notifications that is if you want to block the notifications of any particular app here is where you want to go and you have toggle positions that is these are all the list of toggles currently available and you can change the positions of those toggles from here and additionally you have this show notification icons on the status bar or else show connection speed let me enable this and you will be able to see the network usage on the status bar and if we enable the notification icons we will be able to see the notification icons over here and if you enable this option you will be able to see the network as of now there is no sim card inserted in this device so we are able to see sim card and we have some other options over here so let's go back so just in case if any elderly person or some kid is using this phone you have a mode called as light mode which will simply enlarge everything or it will enlarge the important features of the phone such as calls or messages so that it will be very easy for elderly people to use so going on if we go to about as we already know we can click on the MIUI version 7 times to enable the developer options and we can click on internal memory to enable or to go to testing phase where we can get all the phone information and we can press on the kernel version to go to testing again let me just show you a small test let me enable the torch let's click open and as you can see the flash is on and when I press close turned off so just in case if you want to perform any hardware test this is what you need to do so that's it guys thanks for watching the video if you found this video to be helpful please hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you have any queries about this device or any other device do let me know by commenting below this video and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this